It was meant to be a joyous day. Dilraj, a driver in Shabkadar, Pakistan, was engaged to be married in the autumn of 2013. A large group of his relatives traveled to Peshawar on September 29th to invite other family members to the wedding, the custom in the country's northwest. In a flash, everything changed. A car bomb tore through the Kisa Khawani market as the wedding party passed close by. At least 40 people were killed. 18 of them were members of Nazakat's family, whose van caught fire. Sartaj lost his wife, three daughters, one son, and two grandchildren. Nazakat suffered shrapnel wounds and lost her vision in one eye. When she began to recover, she learned that her brother, Sorab, was among the dead. <laughs> Peshawar has been ravaged by extremist violence for many years. Major attacks have targeted schools, Shiite mosques, and churches, as well as sites like bazaars. Officials blame the Kisa Khawani market bombing on the Pakistani Taliban although the group did not claim responsibility. The attack turned the lives of the survivors upside down. But family members have refused to let grief overwhelm them. Nazakat, already a widow before the attack, wanted to support the relatives who suffered like she did. She decided to help raise 12 children in the family who lost one or both parents. <laughs> Several of her young relatives are living with her, one of whom is disabled. Others come to her home for meals and help with their schoolwork. Dilraj focused on his own recovery from the tragedy. He and his fiance eventually held the wedding they had planned. Sartaj says their family's profound losses remain with them constantly. The damage done by extremist violence changed their lives forever. But as this family cares for the next generation, they are doing what they can to give them a brighter future.